everybody, this is Kelly and Sophie Doyle and uh, coming to you from Ehrenberg, Arizona, boondocking. And a lot of people have asked me about my platform bed. So we're going to go over that today. I'm going to start off with the key features that I needed in the bed. We'll go over that and then we'll go over the overview of the bed and the details. Okay, the top three things I was looking for in a bed was one, something I could do with zero carpentry skills, zero skills ever be building a thing that I could do on my own. The second thing is I wanted a bed that I could turn it into a bed as quickly as possible. No pulling stuff out and shifting stuff around so I can just lay down as quickly as possible. And we'll show you how I did that in a minute. And the third thing um, I wanted at the time was something portable that I could get in and out of my van quickly under 10 minutes oh, nothing permanent something I could get in and out and for anybody who it you know wants to camp on the weekends but use a minivan uh, with passenger seats during the week days this is the bed for you and also I was in a very small apartment when I came up with this design so in my head I was still thinking I wanted something that folded down flat I could just slip it behind my couch because I had a very small space, I had no storage, and we'll show you how we did that in just a minute. So this is a bed for someone who has very little skills or you know, doesn't have access to a workshop, machine shop, or whatever. It's super simple. If I could do it, anyone can, trust me. Um, only tools you need is a handsaw or a jigsaw, mostly just for the legs. A screwdriver or a drill to put the leg plates, which I'll show you in a minute. And optional is a staple gun, which I use to put indoor outdoor carpeting on top to have a little surface and actually gives it a little bit more cushion, believe it or not, when you're sleeping on it. So I have the materials listed here if you wanna take a snapshot or pause. Plus the piano hinge. And I'm gonna go through this, it's pretty basic. Three quarter inch plywood. And there's, these are called leg plates. I got them from Home Depot. You screw those on, and then you get these Parsons legs. Cut them to size. You screw, you just screw the Parsons legs onto the platform. And to secure it, I will show you in the back. I have four of these, but you can see the ones in the back easily. To secure it, I have what's called turnbuckles. And they are attached to D rings. They're, these are D rings and they fold flat. So when you're storing it, this thing is flat as a pancake with a little butter. So you got your turnbuckles and I have an S hook on here. These attach it to the vehicle. This thing does not budge. There's another one here. Uh, sorry. And I have two more in the center legs. You can see one right what there. What you do is you go to Home Depot and you have them cut. Uh, what was it? A 48 by, I don't know, eight. But anyway, a large piece of plywood. Um, I cut one. They will do cuts and they did like multiple cuts for me. So you don't have to cut the plywood at all. You don't need a tool for that. So I had them cut. The larger one is 48 by 48. You could do it wider, but I liked to have a little bit of. Uh, area and the sides to s tuck things in and that mattress hanging over an inch on each side does not make a difference so they cut that piece out of the plywood and then they cut this is 26 by 26 26 by 26 which makes 74 inches I'll show you when I flip this out 74 inches in length and it actually folds a full-size mattress sideways. That's all there is to it. And let me show you if I can. Well, basically, so I put this on a hinge. So this piece on a piano hinge. Sorry for the camera. I need a tripod on it. So all I have to do to sleep is I flip this out. Right now, I was gonna um, have a drawer that came out that it would lay on. Then I started using the porta potty, and actually, it looks like it's an angle. It does. I can't feel it, so I actually flip it out on the porta potty, and then I pull out my trifold mattress, 
I think you get the idea, but it is super quick. That's all I have to do to sleep. Boom, I'm sleeping. I grab my sleeping bag. I actually have it tucked in the back. I pull it out. I'm sleeping. I could do this all inside the van because I have a little walkway here. So I can sit there, flip it out, pull that out. I'm taking a nap. Although, what I started to do to take naps was I started just uh, flipping the mattress onto the porta potty without flipping this out, and it still worked. So I actually do that a lot now. One of the uh, variations to this is a slide out, where this piece slides out, and then it has its own legs that kind of flip down, or they're already on it. The reason why I didn't do that was because then, I don't know, I couldn't get them lined up right, and it just took away. See, it would have blocked more access to the underneath. So I decided on the flip out, but some people do a slide out, and then there's a lip here where it sits on, and then you already have the legs, which would also be very easy. And as you can see, I did the indoor outdoor carpet. It gives it some texture, things don't slide around. And I was thinking about doing vinyl on top because of water and a wet dog, but so far I have no problems. And I actually just put a yoga mat. Are really great if you do want something temporary uh, in rainy season or when your dog's swimming. You can put that down. One more thing, I almost forgot. One of the reasons, other reasons why I chose to do the flip out is because if you want to back up into a scenic area, a beach, a lake, a river, whatever, party, uh, you can flip this out at a 45 degree angle and have a little stick holding it up just like I did with my snap-on tables and you can have a lounger facing the back. If it's one human and one dog or one human and a very, very short person. Super simple, super quick. The hardest thing, the biggest challenge for me in this van was the uneven floor. And uh, there was some cursing there. I will admit there was some cursing, cursing, ha cursing happening. So I recommend you do wait until you have someone to help you to make sure it's level and measuring these underneath while you're holding it and trying to figure out, okay, you want the maximum amount of storage, but you want to be able to sit up and actually do have to lower this, uh, which is going to be a pain because everything fits perfectly underneath. But um, either get a helper when you're, the, the hardest part was just getting the legs. And a trick is those furniture pad thingies, they're little felt things. If you cut anything too short, I actually just stuck some of those on the bottom. Um, and it's still working. This does not budge with those four turn buckles. And the other thing, uh, another way you could avoid that is if you put a plywood on the bottom. I don't have time for that. Uh, so your surface is even. I know there's van bed builds that, you know, they flip up and they do all kinds of hinge things. But, you know, this is for someone who can't build that and just wants to get on the road. Oh, also the trifold mattress. One of the benefits of this is uh, when you fold it up in the trifold, you have a nice kind of upright lounging area. And then I actually just put my legs on the porta potty here. Um, but if I fold it down, so sometimes you can fold it this way. And then uh, instead of tucking my sleeping bag in the back, I'll leave it out rolled up in the back with my pillow. And it's a nice like. More, more flat lounger and then my legs are on the porta potty um, and you can also use I looked in Ikea mattresses and then you just cut them to size so lots of options so that's my uh, minivan camper conversion platform bed super simple anyone can do it it's in and out in 10 minutes under 10 minutes I can just take the legs off undo the turnbuckles and this thing's out of the van um, you have any questions let us know comment concerns and thank you for watching and you guys have a beautiful day
dog approved.